Okay, let's follow up our first problem with a second part. We want to figure out what the maximum height of the projectile was. And so we're looking for Y maximum here. And we know one thing about the trajectory at Y maximum. We know the Y component of the velocity is zero there. And so VY is zero at Y maximum. And so we can use that information to um, figure out what the highest point is. Let's go back to our coordinate system. So we had positive y was up and positive x to the right. And since this is dealing with the y motion, that's where we look to, except this is y velocity. Before we looked at the equation for y position as a function of time, now we want y velocity as a function of time. because we know Vy is zero. And so at the highest point, Vy is zero. V zero Y was uh, what we found before. Uh, it's V zero sine theta. And then the acceleration is negative 9.8 T. And if you remember from before, when V zero was 18 meters per second, and this was a 30 degree angle. V zero Y was the opposite side. And so that was 18 sine 30 or nine meters per second. And so substituting that in for V zero sine theta, we get zero equals nine minus 9.8 T. And solving for T, it is 9 divided by 9.8. So it's a change in velocity divided by the acceleration. And that comes out to just under a second, 0.92 seconds. Now we can go to the y motion equation for a position where y is y0 plus v0 yt plus 1 half at squared. And so now we're solving for y maximum. And so our initial y is 0. Our initial y velocity is 9, and the time 0.92, and then the acceleration, don't forget if I made up positive, the acceleration is negative 9.8, 0.92 squared. And so y maximum for this problem is 4.13 meters. And so you can see we fired it. Let's do it again. And so um, I'll erase this. It'll come back, so don't worry. And we say fire. Oh, no sound. We've got to have sound. And then there's this little measuring tool that'll let us measure the maximum height. And so it's roughly in the middle. That little X here represents the first second of motion. And so I think we're a little further over here. About there is the middle, and so I get um, 4.06 meters. And if we look at our calculations, uh, we predicted 4.13. That's close enough for government work. Uh, next one, we're going to take a look at a problem where the cannon is being fired from a height above the ground. <laughs> 